and the Debrinic Channel is back. And today we are talking about Lake Oroville. We'll be checking out the new forecast and we'll be checking out what has happened thus far at Lake Oroville. And we're going to start out at windy.com like we always do and see what is going on over the next three days. Absolutely nothing. The big storm has gone out to the Midwest and over towards the East Coast. And there's a lot of precipitation heading that way towards St. Louis, Chicago, Wisconsin, Fargo, North Dakota, South Dakota, Rapid City, Wisconsin as well. Mississippi, they're going to get a lot of precipitation and very little over here. We go to the next five days and you can see that California stays dry. Nevada, Arizona for the most part stays dry. Colorado stays fairly dry. We go the next 10 days and poof, there's more precipitation heading your way according to the European model. The GFS and the European model are totally disagreeing on this one, so we'll see what happens. We're going to start off with good news, hopefully. We are not going to get too excited about it, but they're talking about another 0.9 inches of precipitation possibly coming towards the Lake Oroville area. Lake Shasta, not as much, 0.8 down by Folsom, 0.6. So we'll see which one wins out because the GFS, on the other hand, they're showing absolutely very little precipitation coming to California. They're predicting that it's going more north. So we will see which one wins out. I want to talk about snow depth, how much snow they received. And according to this, they received quite a bit of precipitation. So 50.7 as we scoot in here towards Folsom here. You can see that over by Truckee over here. They received 41. South Lake Tahoe, 42 inches. We go up to Chester, 46. Caribou, 37. And then we come down to Oroville itself. Absolutely nothing. Paradise received nothing as well. We go over towards Mount Shasta up here. We go over to Mount Shasta, 45. And we go all the way down to, we come all the way down to Bear Valley, 46. We come down to Yosemite Valley, 48. We come down to Mammoth Lakes, 43. We scoot down a little bit further. You can see the South Sierra here, 48 inches. So right around 48 to 50 inches on the high side and to the low side, less than that. And that's good news. We finally get some precipitation. Let's go check and see what the snow depth was overall for the whole state. And we'll see what numbers they got going on there. Next, here's your snow water equivalent. And we are starting off at the north like we always do. Numbers of the stations reporting 32. Average snow water equivalent, 10.2 inches of water. Remember, we needed like 22 to come out of drought, according to DNR. Percent of April 1st, average 36. So this has come up quite a bit. This is good news. Percentage of normal for this state, 195. So that's pretty incredible for this early in the season. We will take it. Hopefully this is not the last of things to come. Hopefully there's more to come. And we will hope for big time snows. And we would definitely want to be three, four hundred percent so it can get to this hundred percent average before April 1st for sure. Remember this number will go down every day. This number will stay the same every day. But we need this number to come up with every storm that comes through. So we continue to roll the central numbers of stations reporting 52 average snow water equipment. Equivalent 12.1, that's fantastic. Percentage of April 1st, 43 percent of normal for this date 204 south sierra we have numbers of station reporting 33 average snow water equivalent 10.7 percent of april 1st average 47 that's almost halfway so that is fantastic three percent shy of that percent of the normal for this date is 242 percent that's just incredible statewide summary you have 111 stations reporting your average water equivalents 11.2 percent of April 1st, 42%. Percent of the normal for this date, 213. That's what's going on. And we will go to Lake Oroville next and see what's going on there. As you can see, beautiful Lake Oroville in the shot here. This is recorded a little earlier before the sun went down. Hope you enjoy it. And here we go to Lake Oroville. Lake Oroville's hourly data, and you can see that the inflows have really slowed down. The outflows really stayed the same, actually come down. They were at 913 the other day. We had over 10,000 the other day, so this thing's really slowed down. You got to remember a lot of this water's tied up in snow right at the moment, so had to wait for the melt to bring it up. Your normal snow release so far is 918. Your rain inches so far has been 908. The average is around 12 this time of year. 
year, so we'll keep that in mind. Your inflows are 3,349 the last reading at 1,600 hours, which is 4 o'clock Western Time. Current water level 667.46 in the last 12 hours. That is up quite a bit. That's up 0.30 feet in the last 12 hours, so we'll go check out the rain. In the last several days, you can see that it started at 9.08 the last two days, so it's come up 0 0.7. We go the last, we'll go to the span of 50 here and see what's going on there. Since the end of October, the lake has come up 9.08. You can see this little storm come through here, a decent storm come through here around the 5th. Then you had a nice long dry spell till December 2nd, and then you had this big storm come through, a slow thing, then another storm that came through. So 908 is what we got going on there now. Let's go check and see how much lake has come up in the last 24 hours next. Lake Warville's water level 667.45. I think this is a little behind. Tuesday, December 13, 2022 at 3 p.m. The level is 232.55 feet below full pool of 900. Changes since yesterday, 0.76. So this thing has really come up quite a bit. You can see the increase and it really increased last year at this time. So we are not sitting as good as we were last year at this time, but we're definitely on the right track. We'll see what ultimately ends up happening. More precipitation is in the forecast as I just showed you. So let's roll down to Lake Shasta next and see what's going on there. The latest outflow is 2,557. Your inflow currently is 4,495. Your current water level is 920.79. Storage acre feet 1,435,624. This was yesterday. They don't have anything for today as you can see. Rain inches so far 8.13, not as much as Lake Oroville. Less than an inch difference between up there from down there, so that's still good. Not great. We're going to go check how much the lake has come up in the last 24 hours next. Lake Shasta's water level 920.87 feet MSL Tuesday, December 13, 2022, 9 a.m. The level is 146.13 feet below full pool of 1,067. Changes since yesterday, 0.24 you can see that it's starting to climb. We will take that. We scoot in a little bit further. You can see we are definitely higher than we were last year at this time. So that's good news, but not as high as we were in 2020. So down to Lake Folsom, we go next. Here we are at Folsom, and you can see that the water level is 382.78, at least yesterday. Storage acre feet, 275,818. Outflows 1,266, inflows 3,886. Let's go check and see how much lake has come up in the last 24 hours. The water level at Lake Folsom is 382.99 feet MSL. Tuesday, December 13, 2022 at 3 p.m. The level is 83.01 feet below full pool of 466. Changes since yesterday, 0 0.29. And you can see it's starting to shoot up just like last year. And it won't be long. We will be catching that 2020 mark as you can see here as we are not too far away from that 388.37 we're right around 7.02 feet away from hitting that 2020 mark and we're quite a long way from the 2021 mark so at least we'll be hitting the 2020 mark over the 2020 mark pretty quick thank you guys for stopping by hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you on the next one god bless